We're gonna start with some limes and we're just gonna kinda roll those out, get the juices flowing. This is the start of our marinade. So we're just gonna cut these in half. And I just bought organic chicken and you can buy them just in the tenders and that makes life a lot easier. You don't have to cut them all up into small pieces. But anytime you're choosing chicken or any animal products in general, make sure you choose an organic source. So we're gonna squeeze these limes. This will be about maybe a quarter cup of lime juice right in the bag here. So the lime juice and the acidity really helps to tenderize that chicken. And then we're gonna put about a quarter cup of soy sauce. So I like to use Bragg's Liquid Aminos. It's just a lower sodium soy sauce, non-GMO soybean. So you can choose whatever you like, um, but this is usually a good bet. You can find this at most grocery stores anywhere. So we're gonna throw that in, and that'll really help to flavor it up. And then we're gonna put a little extra virgin olive oil. So when using olive oil, extra virgin is really just the way to go. It's gonna be the best quality oil to use for cooking. So we put about a tablespoon of olive oil in there. And then we're just gonna add our chicken tenders. So we're gonna throw those in, and they're perfect size pieces. And what we're gonna do is just make sure they're all coated evenly, and we're gonna put into the fridge for at least one hour. Zip it up, and then we'll shake it, get it nice and coated, and then it's ready for the fridge. Now that our chicken is marinated, it's been sitting in the fridge for about an hour or so, and we're gonna start with putting little pieces on skewers. So I'm just gonna use a grill pan for today. If you are grilling outside, you just wanna make sure that you soak these wooden skewers in water so that they don't burn on the grill. So we're gonna take each piece, And I just cut some big skewers right in half. There we go. Smells delicious already. So you can grill even in the cold months. And then once this, the chicken is all skewered, we're gonna add it right to our hot pan, making sure that our grill pan is nice and hot. So we have it at about medium high heat. You wanna hear those chickens sizzle. We'll let these cook just a few minutes longer and we're gonna start on our peanut sauce while those are finishing cooking. So we're gonna start with just some organic natural peanut butter. You can find any natural peanut butter in the grocery store. The key is to look at the ingredients and make sure that it only lists organic peanuts. That's the only ingredient, no salt, no added sugars, no added oils. Um, and then we're gonna start with about a half a cup of peanut sauce. So about a half a cup or so. And then we are gonna add just a little bit of honey just to sweeten it up. It'll be really nice and flavorful with the chicken. Just make it nice and sweet. Then we'll add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So this will give it a nice tang, little acidic flavor. Apple cider vinegar is really great for digestion. So this is kind of my go-to vinegar whenever I'm making a salad dressing, any sauces. We're gonna do just about a tablespoon of the vinegar. And then again, we're gonna add the low sodium soy sauce. So we're gonna put just about a teaspoon or so of that just to kind of flavor it up. And then we'll add in about a, a quarter cup of warm water. So this will help for the peanuts sauce to really come together. We're just gonna stir this. And then we're gonna add in some fresh ginger. Ginger's really great for digestion, along with the apple cider vinegar. This is a really good, healthy mix. Stir it up a little bit more. Let's see how our chicken's doing, see if it's ready to pull off. Looks delicious. Since we're using a grill pan, I like to just throw it in the oven and just make sure that everything's cooked through. And then we will be ready to serve. Now that our chicken's been cooking for about five minutes, five to 10 minutes to just make sure it's been cooked through, we're gonna pull it out from the oven. And we're gonna put it on our platter. So I just have a platter here with a side of whole grain rice. You could do any side you wanted. You could do white rice. I just find that it goes really well with the chicken and then the peanut sauce that we made. So let's just 
throw the chicken on top. And there you go. And then we'll take our peanut sauce and we'll just put it in a little bowl, nice and creamy. And then of course, let's make it a little colorful, add some flavor, add some nutrition, throw on some green onions on top. Join us next time for Kristen in the Kitchen for a delicious and healthy recipe.